Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Devoted, a legendary SMG. Now what makes it legendary is this red text that says, this is your champion. Now I tried Googling this and I do not know what it's from. Uh, there's just too many things out there on the internet for this. So if you guys know exactly where it is from this gun or think you do for this gun, uh, let us know in the comments so we can all try and learn that. Now, what does this actually do for this gun? This gun actually charges up like a normal Malawan gun, but the rate of fire increases the longer you're firing, and the charge up time decreases the longer you're firing. Also, the wiki says it's based on how many bullets are in the magazine, but that is not actually true. This gun has like kind of a momentum system with it where there's a wheel on the side that spins, and the faster that's spinning, the higher your rate of fire, and the lower your charge up time is going to be. But at every second you're not firing, that ball on the side of this thing slows down, which increases your charge up time and decreases your rate of fire. So even if you had like five mag bullets left in this magazine and you started shooting again after completely letting that wheel on the side stop, your shooting time would be, your charge up time would be really, really slow and your rate of fire would be really, really slow. Now that was a whole mouthful here, so we're actually just going to like back out of here and try and show what I'm talking about with this thing. As you can see, it's got a really slow charge of time, and that thing on the side of the wheel is spinning fast still. And then it instantly shoots again, but if I sit here and wait, you'll see that this wheel on the side is slowing down, slowing down, and now it stops. But I only have 10 rounds, and it's not stopped, but I only have 10 rounds in the magazine still, so it has a slower to fire and the long charge up time again. Um, that's what I can tell is the difference of this gun as far as legendary goes and the huge increased magazine size obviously um, now for how the gun looks um, Kind of reminds me of the surge things again But I'm starting to feel that vibe with like all the Malawan things or maybe like the slime thing out of Futurama I get the feel of with this gun. I still think they look kind of cool and they're definitely different now as for my personal thoughts and overview on this gun um when this thing is up to speed and firing real fast and your acquisition time like is lower because you don't have to wait for the charge up time again i really really like it it feels good swapping weapons or swapping targets which some Malawan guns really really struggle with but not this one at all um but after just reviewing the cloud kill i think the cloud kill is just a much much better gun the reload on the cloud is faster it seems to kill things faster um, I'm not saying this is a bad gun, but the cloud can only roll in corrosive where this seems to be able to roll in all elements And you can actually swap the elements on the fly with the alternative fire on this one, which some people would definitely prefer But you can see there like that was one of those situations where that whole lower charge up time was really really nice to have And it just feels really good when you can swap targets like that and not have to re up the charge up and you don't have to waste ammo just trying to keep the thing spooled up swapping between targets, which also feels really, really nice. Um, I have tested a lot of guns that are way, way worse than this one, so this is probably going to be another middle of my road guns here. Um, it doesn't seem to do ludicrous damage, it doesn't seem to be completely broken, you know, sometimes, guys, I just feel like opening chests on video. I don't really know why. Well, this gun just straight up deleted that guy, so who am I saying this gun doesn't do any damage? Um, but overall... It's just a mediocre gun um, and it's partially because the reload time on this thing is so long it just doesn't feel anywhere near as good as uh, other guns maybe if you were running the uh, infinite mag on Moe's this might be totally possible to uh, make it feel better and run more indefinitely with this but I feel like with the rate of fire that this thing can kick out when it's fully charged you would rapidly overpower her uh, infinite mag uh, skills so overall guys, I think it's a mediocre gun, nothing too spectacular, nothing to write home about, nothing totally insane. Um, just another mediocre, I keep repeating myself, and that usually means it's time to end. Now, if you guys are looking to get one of these for yourself, I've seen them all over the place, open world drop. The one I have written down on my spreadsheet would be from the Ravenger on Mayhem level 3. So you can enjoy farming him for this if you want a guaranteed place where it drops, and hopefully I didn't repeat myself too much in this one guys, but really just mediocre if you guys think differently as always let me know in the comments i would love to know what you guys think of this thing and what you use it for or where you think it lies and um i really do appreciate y'all stopping by it does mean a whole lot and uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, i've got a playlist appearing above me soon here that has a whole bunch of videos just like this one and if you like a few of them maybe think about subscribing liking commenting joining the community being a good person overall and i will see you guys in the next video dig figure out